Hello there, Taurus Gemini friends, and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. Thank you kindly for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. And please join us on Tumblr at Immaterial Garden, where you'll get notifications about our readings cross-platform, as well as status updates for the channel. This, of course, is your June 2022 monthly reading. We're going to go over three lines of main messages. We're going to cover immaterial, wealth messages, and love messages. We'll do messages for now until mid-month and messages from mid-month and beyond. Don't forget to watch your zodiac focus reading as it is the main reading for the month for everyone. And then I will be back next week with the flavor readings for the zodiac signs again, okay? Before we start that cycle all over again. Let's go ahead and see my friends what is at the center of the first line of immaterial messages for our Taurus Gemini friends. We do, oh, we have two, so we do have high honor. There is something that is a responsibility, something where you're being recognized as the authority, as the, the judge, or as the person who is in charge, okay? We do have family room energy, so there's something having to do with family matters, especially. Could have something to do with your, with your, actual physical family could also be your spiritual family but they are looking to you to take on some sort some sort of role of leadership affecting the future of the family is what i'm getting okay the future of the family possibly the future of the organization or the company all right let's go ahead and take a look here we have poverty there could be some sort of debt that <laughs> There, there is unfortunately some sort of debt that each of you are going to, you're going to need to figure out how to cover. I feel like this could be affecting the family. It could be a spiritual or a karmic debt. It could be something attached to something that happened, like something historical that happened that may have that your family might have may have profited from that's what i'm getting okay could also possibly be though that you could be finding out that a very well-to-do family actually they got there at the expense of one of your ancestors or they got there at the expense of your your family your group your people okay let's go ahead and i feel like this person if that is the case someone is being ousted from power because of how they got into office or who their family was we have love energy I'm getting they signed a like they had a contract so whatever it is like the law at the time was on their side or they might have had some dirty dealings they might have signed contracts in order to bribes or something it's just something dirty in terms of the politics or in terms of something that happened also it could be there could have been a wealthy family that could have put some hush money down on something, down on a situation, and that situation could have been squashed is what I'm getting, okay? Or the talk about it could have been squashed. There might have been some sort of, you know, some sort of wrong or some sort of uh, action or almost, you know, something that needed to be kept on the on the hush hush is what i'm getting secrets dirty little secrets secrets about sex lies and power is what i'm getting okay whatever it is that your family or that your your line has been through i feel like it may be painful to hear some of these secrets coming out but at the same time it feels good because someone is giving you what you deserve they're paying you back for and, and i mean obviously there is no price on you know the life and the the life and the existence and the quality of life of your ancestors or of you know it's no excuse for what happened but at the very least you are getting some sort of reparations you are getting some sort of acknowledgement of what happened and getting some part of the abundance that was you know that was reaped on the on the back of your on the back of you or your family okay Whew. all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me more about this tell me more about this we do have the child energy we have great fortune i feel like you might be i feel like you are a later generation though so these are you are a descendant of whoever this these these forerunners or these four uh whoever these people in your family were but something about what happened to them or something about their story it's ending in you being paid paid out or being given some sort of 
abundance or some sort of resources that really should have probably been yours in the first place, probably would have been yours if they hadn't been taken from your family or taken from uh, taken from your group or something like that, okay? All right, what is, what's the takeaway guidance here? Tell me the takeaway guidance here for our Taurus Gemini friends. We have the pathway energy. Take this opportunity. This is the dream to, you know, this is why people struggled or why that ancestor did this or why, why they fought the good fight. And that is so that you could have a better, a better pathway forward so that you could, so that you could bring on the healing and honor onto your line, you know, moving forward, so that all of all of these people or this person's descendants would be given the rewards that they that they were entitled to through this act of sacrifice or through this act of rebellion. Okay. Oh, it's kind of getting me like kind of teary. All right. Um, also, with this great statue, I do see like like sculptures or I do see artwork so for some reason there could be artwork attached to this as well this could also be the family of an artist who may have died poor but now I feel like they're they're this artist's artwork now is like really in demand people are paying a lot of money for it or it's like this this was taken like someone was taking credit for this artist's work is kind of what I'm seeing here as well all right, uh, let's go ahead and move forward, my friends. We're going to move into the second line of main messages, which is going to be about your wealth. So let's talk about your money. Let's talk about what's going on there. Uh, abundance, wealth, health, and such. We have adjudication. So there is some sort of judgment coming through. I feel like, let's see, is it going to be in your favor or not? We have thief energy. So it looks like it may not necessarily be in your favor. It looks like whatever the judgment coming through, you may feel like it's unfair, like it's an unfair punishment, an unfair amount or something like that. Here we also have the change energy. It feels like you might be appealing something or you might be looking for a different, looking for different counsel, looking for a different judgment or something like that, okay? Whatever it is, I don't feel like you, I don't feel like you agree and you want to, again, it's appeals. You might also be, um, it could have something to do with like a, parking tickets or unpaid parking tickets or or moving violation tickets or something like that it is possible that they could have taken away your license is what i'm getting due to unpaid tickets i feel like you think it the, <laughs> i feel like you're really stuck on the principle of things though and i feel like you might be fighting a losing battle my friend i'm just going to be real that being said i feel like uh, they're going to give you some sort of terms and stipulations for returning maybe returning your driver's license or something like that. We have thoughts energy. We also have main male energy. Yeah, this is this is you. No matter how you identify or present in terms of sex or gender, this is you in the deck. And ultimately here though, I feel like you need to change your perspective about how you're looking at the situation or how you're fighting or how you're behaving possibly to fight this judgment or something like that or this 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 fine i feel like ultimately here though it's it's up to you how far this is going to escalate is what i'm getting but i do get the energy that it, it it may have something to do with it may have something to do with pride is what i'm getting here uh let's go ahead and see here what else do we have we have the house energy so you could also be put under you could be put under house arrest possibly or you're you might be being held in contempt of court is what i'm getting i just get the weird feeling like this is like this should have been like a a, a traffic violation and then suddenly it's like now it's like just blown up into this big judgment and like there might even be like publicity and i feel like you might be putting on a spectacle in the courtroom i feel like you you might be purposely putting on a spectacle in the courtroom because because you flat out don't feel like like the court cares about you or the court you know i feel like you're trying to point out that the court is ignorant or the court is something but i feel like you're like hurting your own case is what i'm getting here let me let me go ahead and see what is the what's the takeaway guidance here we do have marriage energy so with the marriage energy i do feel like it is yeah it, 
maybe it's a divorce and maybe you feel like you're you're whoever this other person is the ex maybe you feel like the judge is being too lenient or sympathetic with them maybe they you feel like they're like they are subjecting you to unfair stuff uh for other people here i feel like you might flat out feel like this was this was a plot or this was a conspiracy you feel like people are in it together people did this to you they're in it together they're trying to crucify you together or something like that i'll be real i mean with with thoughts it it does seem a little paranoid it does seem a little paranoid that being said i you know whatever level you're operating at maybe there maybe this is not maybe these charges or this is the only thing they could get they could bring you in on possibly maybe it's like they really want to charge you maybe they want to charge you or accuse you of something else but this is how they got you into the courtroom or maybe you felt like someone was trying to get back at you by by putting you through this through this court system or something else but maybe you also just don't like the way that the the wealth is being distributed between you and your ex this could be your ex as well possibly playing you know showing their ass in court kind of but um it doesn't have to be okay this could whoever this person is though i i just <clears throat> if it's you or if it's the other person i'm first of all i'm getting the people versus larry flint so it's possible maybe it has something to do with free speech or something like that but i feel like you're creating these disruptions in the courtroom is what i'm getting i also just feel like someone is, someone keeps telling you that you are uh you know you need to contain yourself or control yourself or I feel like it, it's almost like they really do not appreciate your outbursts. But the funny thing is, I feel like if this is you causing a ru ruckus, I feel like this is your own attorney that's telling you, please stop. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Tell me, um, what is that? The, what's that the center of the last line of main messages? All right. That's interesting. Last line of main messages, which is for love messages, love messages for Taurus Gemini friends, please. We do have bad health. So it looks like there might be, you could have a loved one, like a spouse or a lover, maybe they're not feeling well. They could possibly have gone to the hospital. Maybe they're getting some sort of medical care or they might be going under the knife or getting surgery. Courtship energy, it feels like this is not someone you're married to yet, but it's someone that you might be engaged to or it might be someone that you have a long-term live-in relationship with, okay? Maybe for some of you, it's maybe you've been together long-term, you don't live together yet. Okay, but I feel like you're concerned about this person, you're close to this person. We have community. I feel like you and you might be helping out around the house, like their family's house, possibly helping their parents or their younger siblings out. I do feel like the, the community might really love this person or might be rallying around this person. I feel like this person, maybe it's unexpected that they would they would take ill or something like that. Maybe something, this person could have had an accident or gotten injured somehow, or they're sick for some reason. We do have the wealthy man energy. So this this person, their family might actually be pretty well to do. Their family may be rich is what I'm getting, okay? They might be the child of a very wealthy business person or someone, I mean, when I say very wealthy, it could be, it could be someone who's really known in the community and has made a lot of money in the community. It could be a billionaire like Bill Gates who knows okay and in, in terms of what what it means on your level of in your sphere of influence but ultimately here it feels like this person they they definitely they do community service they they have money they're really well liked they're charming we do have the courthouse energy but there might be some I'm going to be real they could there could be some suspicion towards you wondering you know there i think for whatever reason maybe you're in a more conservative area and because you haven't you don't live together or you haven't or you do live together out of you know but you don't, you're not married or because you are maybe like a queer couple or something like that i feel like they are they're looking towards you they're wondering if you have something to do with this person being sick or something like that also i mean it just makes sense every freaking cop show whatever will tell you that you know it's usually the partner or the spouse or something that they look at first but i do feel like um 
it might be really stress you know it seems it's like it's really stressful it might be hard because you might not the problem is is like sometimes people think that they know how people should react emotionally in situations and even though sometimes you know our gut feelings or sometimes it, it does seem obvious i just feel like there is something here where maybe they just don't understand i feel like people are misreading or they're purposely trying to misinterpret your reactions maybe because they're just trying to they're just trying to find Find an easy solution all right we do have the gift energy i think that they realize that there's nothing to do with you maybe this person maybe like this person gets better and they're, they're like yeah there's nothing there's nothing weird or whatever it is I, whatever it is i feel like maybe your your name is cleared is what i'm getting also i feel like you <laughs> by the end of this also there could be something where you could have been with someone you're not married to them there might be they, they could be in a vegetative state or a coma is what i'm getting all right and maybe their family who hasn't been around for a really long time is coming around and they're trying to i feel like they're taking ownership of of your person's of your lovers or your person's like health routine or health choices or decisions but you know that your person doesn't necessarily want these these people or their family or whoever take making these decisions but i feel like they might be spending money to to block you but i feel like whatever is happening here maybe you you maybe you qualify for certain like maybe you qualify for common law marriage or partnership in your area maybe the law is on your side here or maybe your person might have specifically drawn up paperwork in order to have you make you their medical proxy or make you you know and and also give you power of attorney or whatever it is so ultimately here i think that there's some sort of gift that your person has given you that will help you fight whatever these people whatever these people want to do or whatever they're trying to do to shut you out is what i'm getting okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me what is the takeaway here pretty complicated this might be a really weird complicated month for you there's a lot of moving parts that being said i am seeing good things happening in the end vindication i am also seeing that you know ultimately golden paths opening up for you there is abundance there is happiness there is money but there is also struggle that's what i get okay what do we have here we have distant horizons some of this though may feel like unbelievable you might feel like is this a dream and for for some of you this involves travel or this involves um whatever your your existential journey has been up until now i feel like you this is even you don't even know what's going to happen that's kind of what i'm getting here okay but i feel like you're getting some saving graces and your prayers will be answered manifestations dreams will come true all right all right let's go ahead and move into the the last part of this reading so we're going to pull messages for now which are going to be from now until mid-month and then we'll do later messages for later in the month and beyond don't forget to watch your uh zodiac focus reading my friends and uh also the astrological weather has already been posted the monthly report and then don't forget i usually do either the astrological weather short or the mini you can either find it as as a short on youtube and if there's no short on youtube you'll probably find a mini on tumblr at immaterial garden okay you can also just type in immaterialgarden.info and get to the same place let's go ahead and take a look here what is at the what's at the center of these messages that will hopefully serve Taurus Gemini now we do have faithfulness or loyal or sorry loyalty okay so maybe there is something where someone is showing you great loyalty or there could be a friend who is showing that they are truly for you they're gonna stay steadfast even against you know whatever might be happening especially if it's like gossip okay let's go ahead and take a look here tell me more about this we have the I think this is Q Q8 okay yeah this is a servant energy so yeah there's someone who's working on your behalf there's someone who is looking out for your best interest okay it feels like a bestie or it feels like someone who someone who just they have a lot of respect and a lot of love for you we do have the F11 we do have service 
energy as well, okay? So this person, they could be a Sagittarius, possibly a Scorpio Sagittarius Cusper. Whoever this person is, they are a true friend. I mean, sometimes they might get a little spicy. Sometimes they might, they might get a little bossy with you sometimes, but you always know that when they get bossy, it's not because they're trying to be domineering. It's because one, they know what the fuck they're talking about. And two, they don't want to see you get hurt in a situation is what I'm getting. That being said, sometimes people will be that way. They'll, they have a lot of advice for someone, but when it comes to their own life, they're not very steadfast. This person, they actually do walk the walk is what I'm getting, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look here. We do have the conversation and we also have the soldier. Yeah, someone is trying to, someone might be bad mouthing you or someone might be spreading some rumors about you. I feel like this Sagittarius or whoever this lover is or this best friend is there and they shut that shit down like like damn like whoa okay like immediately I also feel like they could have some sort of they, they could there could be bad blood they could be in some sort of like uh, spit uh, spiff with someone or like some sort of spat with someone. Also, I feel like um, someone there, be careful because there could be a physical altercation here is what I'm getting. Someone, uh, someone could actually like, people could fight here is what I'm getting. Uh, I feel like whatever it is, I know this Sagittarius is gonna come fill you in on the details, but I feel like you're ready. You're like, you're like we're going to war. We're gonna ride on this bitch or something like that, okay? All right, we do. <laughs> That being said, we do have joyfulness. So I feel like there is, even though, you know, this is not ideal, I feel like you are happy to see that even though you don't necessarily want this person to get into fist fights or to argue or that sort of thing, you are really glad that they their feelings for you seem genuine, that they are real, that they're proving to you that they're not like everyone else that just talks a whole bunch of, says a bunch of stuff that doesn't mean anything, okay? I feel like you, you're, you're starting to see that you can truly trust this person and having a friend, feeling like you have a friend for life is the greatest joy because friends aren't necessarily, loyal friends especially, are a very precious commodity for you, okay? Because other people have, a lot of other people have proven themselves untrustworthy. All right, what else do we, what's the direction? We do have the doctor energy, yeah. I feel like also someone might be trying to tarnish your reputation. I feel like this Sagittarius or this this person, this friend, this lover, I feel like they are helping you to, to heal your reputation because a lot of it just seems based off of gossip or nonsense. What's your takeaway guidance here? We do have the room energy. You and this person, I feel like you're, you're really tight knit. I feel like this person, they're going to, I feel like they're visiting you soon and I feel like they're giving you the lowdown, the skinny, the, the tea, the 411 on what is happening in the situation, okay? But I feel like also for some of you, you might have already heard some stuff. Maybe you just, you're just like, I have to hear it from you directly or, you know, figure out what the heck is going on. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? We do have hope. That being said, again, for whatever reason though, even though you may not necessarily agree with this person's antics or tactics, I feel like it does make you really happy to know that someone cares, that someone's on your side. Woo. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this last set of messages. We're going to ask, what is, what are the messages that are going to serve you from mid-month to beyond? Tell me what is at the center of these messages. We do have the ring energy. There's definitely some sort of commitment or some sort of partnership, some sort of union that's going to be at play. For some of you, yes, you are getting engaged or you've recently gotten engaged. Be careful, there might be something involving your little your literal ring, okay? Here with the uh, handshake energy, be careful, there might be uh, someone, you might be getting ripped off on your engagement ring or your, uh, if you're buying an engagement ring for someone, be careful that it's not switched because I get the energy that you think that you're getting a good deal, but instead of giving you the real, like the real diamonds or the real whatever precious stones or whatever it is, I feel like this is switched out for a knockoff or it's switched, switched out for something much cheaper. Meanwhile, someone is making money off of this, okay? There also could be someone who might be, be careful of people like 
stealing this stealing this engagement ring no no joke okay all right we do have the garden energy there could be something where there's an outdoor event or there's some sort of outdoor thing it looks like it's possible that uh someone might someone might end up dropping their ring is what i'm getting someone might end up dropping their ring outside maybe while they're camping or while they're doing something for the engagement party is what i'm getting but i feel like it might be it might be a it might be a con or it might be a swindle is what i'm getting there could be uh maybe someone at the park noticed that you have this beautiful ring on and someone like they shake your hand and they introduce themselves and it's whatever and then like a little bit later you realize oh shit where is my fucking ring okay yeah we have cupid energy someone might actually come in and like someone might come in and try to like flirt with you and then you're like no see i'm 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 gonna be married or i'm about to be married and they're like oh my gosh and they like look at your ring they're like this is so beautiful and blah blah, blah and like whatever and they just like gabbing your chatting your ear off and then you're like okay okay i just got i gotta go and you're like oh finally i got away from this person and then you're like holy crap where's my engagement ring okay all right uh we do have the pig energy yes yeah, someone noticed that it's it must be worth a lot of money i feel like i feel like they might have targeted you from the beginning is what i'm getting they also could have some sort of deal with people that work at this venue or something maybe there is there if there is an investigation they might find that this is like an inside job is what i'm getting all right let's go ahead or someone was giving them information from the inside we have the dog energy yeah they have some sort of ties maybe they've been feeding loyalty ties maybe they've been bribing someone or paying someone off for a long time to get information now granted maybe this person didn't know what the overall plan was like they didn't know what they were do what these people were doing with the information but it's definitely targeting some sort of scheme or something like that there also could be some sort of like some sort of venue or something where it's like if you start looking at the statistic of statistics of how many women or how many people you know whoever whoever um has engagement rings how many engagement rings have been stolen especially in the surrounding area something it just looks like a re weird like conspiracy map or something there's obviously someone who might be uh there's fraudsters that might be targeting women that have these like fancy engagement rings all right all right um also here i do feel like there could be <sighs> There could be someone who is maybe like targeting, I don't know if it's uh, burglar or like, or what is it like holding, uh, um, so I, I guess like robbing someone, mugging someone, okay? I don't know if someone is mugging someone, but they are for whatever reason, maybe it's supposed to look like muggings, but maybe this person purposely chooses women that, they, that they've seen their engagement ring or that are engaged uh, to like, because they're angry at this woman for being engaged or women in general for being engaged. Maybe this is someone who doesn't like women very much or this is someone who maybe they, they're they like trying to take out their aggression on like an ex or, you know, all of the exes in their life, you know, but for whatever reason, they're targeting engaged women. We have book energy. Yeah, there might be something here where someone might be like purposely targeting engaged women or there's some sort of big con or scheme that's that's coming out the pattern is being recognized what else do we have here we have the crossroads energy yeah i feel like it's possible that that just just be careful because especially if you're like near um railroad tracks or there could be a place that's near it's a certain crossroads or cross section of streets or something like that where suddenly there's just been a bunch of a bunch of muggings or something like that or carjackings and for whatever reason it it looks like engaged women are being targeted or, or engaged people are being targeted okay for others this could be as simple as be careful losing your ring in an outdoor event or be careful who you're shaking hands with because they might actually be trying to they might actually be trying to steal from you okay <laughs> Whew. All right, my friends, that's what I have for you. Please join me next week for the flavor reading, which will be the last Zodiac focused reading before we start the cycle all over again. Until then, my friends, gratitude to the divine, to you and all of creation.